In medicine, we treat many conditions, hypertension, high cholesterol levels, for example, but disease cures are few and far between. For viruses, we now have a rare victory. Hepatitis C is now curable, meaning that after treatment, there's no existence of the virus in patients. With this cure, we now have the power to completely eradicate hepatitis C. Hepatitis C is part of a family of viruses that affect the liver. It's passed through blood-to-blood -blood contact, and unlike its cousins, hepatitis A and B, hepatitis C is impossible to prevent with a vaccine. The virus just mutates too quickly. And hepatitis C is clever in its way. The virus actually produces proteins that suppress our immune systems, allowing the infection to persist and to cause long-term harm to its hosts. Most people show no signs or symptoms until they develop liver failure or liver cancer. It's truly a silent killer. There are approximately 3 million Americans with hepatitis C infection. Worldwide, nearly 200 million. Hepatitis C kills about 15,000 Americans per year. Worldwide, that number is about 500,000, half a million people. To better understand the epidemic, let's compare it to human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. For every one person infected with HIV, there are four people with hepatitis C infection. Hepatitis C is truly one of the worst epidemics of our time. But we have a cure. Researchers at Intermountain Medical Center have led a team of scientists from three continents and 15 other countries to perform and publish the results of a pivotal clinical trial. A simple pill taken once a day for 12 weeks has had a 95% success rate in eliminating the disease even in patients with the most advanced stages of liver disease. And compared to placebo, the pill has almost no side effects. It's quite an accomplishment. The biggest hurdle now is expense, and this presents some unique challenges. Because of the $65,000 to $130,000 price tag for a course of treatment, this is only being made available through insurance to patients with the most advanced stages of liver disease, leaving the great majority of patients without access to this treatment. 20% of patients, one in five, who are on the liver transplant waiting list in the United States, die each year while waiting for a donor organ to become available. That's eight patients a day. Because hepatitis C is by far the most common reason people are on the liver transplant waiting list, general access to the treatment and cure would prevent thousands from ever needing to have a liver transplant, dropping the mortality rate to a fraction of what it is today not to mention improving the quality of life for those who have undergone treatment and achieved a cure for hepatitis C infection. We have the means to eradicate hepatitis C, but nationally there's no program in place that's being implemented to screen and to treat it, making it unique among treatable and potentially lethal infections. Consider for comparison tuberculosis. A nationwide screening and treatment program has led to its near eradication, having once been one of the most common causes of death in the United States. As new drugs and competition bring the cost of treatment for hepatitis C down, we hope to make this cure standard treatment for anyone with hepatitis C at any stage of liver disease. When this happens, we will send hepatitis C the way of smallpox, making the world hepatitis C free.